Uh, Steve Anderson here from AndersonShooting.com. Today we're going to talk about how to achieve a sub-second draw. A draw to an acceptable sight picture in under one second. This is kind of a holy grail for intermediate shooters. Oh, I've never done it before. We're going to show you how to do it. Uh, there's two things that are super important. Well, three things that are super important. Number one, reaction to the start tone. The start tone is three tenths of a second long. If you let it expire, you've given up a third of the time that you have to get the gun out of the holster on the target. Uh, number two, we're going to talk about a shoulder position trick that's going to help. And number three, we're going to talk about uh, getting the support hand on the gun sooner. And anytime you're trying to do something faster, I want you to think of the word sooner instead of the word faster. Faster will tense you up, cause grip problems, cause all kinds of problems. The word sooner will not, okay? So I have a, I have a one second part time uh, set on my amg-lab.com commander and timer. I have my brand new uh, steadfast holster that I just got yesterday. Really, really great. Nice and secure. Fits the gun perfectly. Everything is going great. So let's look at let's look at a sub second draw. Now, when you're doing this exercise, it's incredibly important that you draw to an acceptable sight picture. You're not going to press the trigger. You're going to have your finger on the trigger, but not press the trigger. That's because when you're working with part times, it's way too easy to match the trigger to beat the part time. We don't want to do that. We don't want to train you to match the trigger as soon as the gun comes out of the holster. That will come later, much, much later. But right now, we're going to draw to an acceptable sight picture with the finger on the trigger. Okay? And I'm using a pretty big target. You don't want to practice draws on a small target. These little playing card sized, you know, if you've got like playing sized, uh, playing card sized targets, you're, it's going to be very difficult to get a sub second draw on something like that. Yes, I know you can stand three feet away from it. It may simulate the distance, but it doesn't look the same. So I'm using a full size target. Okay. And I'm pretty close. So we're going to show you how this, how this works. Okay. With your hand on your holstered gun, feel where your shoulder is. Okay, and then as you comply with the start position, I want you to leave your shoulder pretty close to that position. This means that instead of going from here to here, you're starting here, right? That way this guy is right where it needs to be to accept the gun. And you'll notice I'm gonna grab the gun on the way up. I don't advocate a scoop draw. The difference between what I do in a scoop draw is the thumb, okay? My thumb is gonna be in the firing position when the hand hits the gun. A scoop draw would have the thumb sort of away from the firing position. That can potentially be a little faster, but it's very risky, and you will miss your grip some percentage of the time. Now, on the subject of grip, if you've never done a sub-second draw before, you are going to miss your grip during this process. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll come back. Once your body captures the feeling of doing this quicker than you've ever done it before, that grip's going to come back. Don't worry about that. Okay? Let me show you what it looks like. Okay? Set the shoulder. Here we go. Okay. That's a one second part time, and I beat that mightily. Let me show you again. Another beautiful sub second draw. I noticed that I'm going to control the imprints to my self image during this process. Every rep is going to be great. Every single rep. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. Here we go. Let's drop our part time down to 0.8. You'll notice I am not pressing the trigger. I am only drawing to an acceptable sight picture with my dot in the center of the target. So we're going to 0.8 part time. So good. Oh my goodness, I'm on fire today. Okay, we're beating the living crap out of a 0.8 part time. Let's drop it down to point. Now nah, let's go straight to six. Why not? That's where I live anyway, so let's do a point six. Notice I'm always setting my shoulder with my hand on my holstered gun. I have this hand right, right above my uh, pants pocket over here. It's a perfect place for that. My wrists are below my belt. My shoulder is set. Here we go. Point six. Not a problem. Let's do another one. Very good. 
and I'm ending every single rep with the dot in the center of the target. If the dot doesn't present to the, to the middle of the target, not a huge deal. Correct it before you holster and control the imprint to your self-image. Say, hey, that was a great correction. Not that was a bad side picture. Okay. Every rep is going to end with an acceptable side picture. Let's do a couple more. Notice that there's very little of my body is moving, right? My head's not moving. All that's moving are the things that need to move. No extraneous movement. Super important. That's a great one. So there's your 0.6 draw. Very easy to achieve. Set the shoulder uh, with the hand on the holstered gun. Listen very carefully with the start tone. Draw to an acceptable sight picture with your finger on the trigger. Do not press the trigger during this exercise. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. It's too easy to honk the trigger to beat the part time. It's not why we're doing this. Okay. So there's your sub second draw primer from andersonshooting.com. Please check out upcoming classes at andersonshooting.com. Come get some. I have much to show you. Go to upcoming classes at andersonshooting.com. Have a great day.